Gas prices are soaring in the Bay Area and drivers across the state are paying the most for gas in the nation. KBX 5's Jocelyn Moran is live in San Francisco at the Shell gas station on 4th and Bryant. And Jocelyn, the prices there have many drivers doing a double take. Yep, that's right. And, you know, we've seen several drivers here pumping gas, but this is also pumping a lot of money out of their wallets. Now, take a look at this here at the Shell gas station. Nearly $6 for a gallon of gas. And we spoke with several drivers today, and, well, they're really feeling the impact. It's killing me. A reaction you'll hear from many drivers as they see that number at the gas station rise and rise with no sign of slowing down. For Comey, he's feeling the expensive prices in his day-to-day -day work as an Uber driver. I used to put uh, $80 a day for my whole day work. Now I'm putting 115, 120. And sometimes I'll, I can do only one day, you know, half day because of that, because I, I can't afford it. The high prices driving many people to Costco gas stations. It's cheaper, <laughs> like 20, 30 cents cheaper than the other gas stations. And that makes a difference. Oh, yeah, because I always do the premium one. And so, like, you know, it adds up. Take a look at the average gas prices according to AAA. In California, it's $4.65, but it's more in the Bay Area. In San Francisco, it's $4.85. In Oakland, $4.77. And in San Jose, $4.78. I came from Alabama, actually. So when we moved here in California, it's doubled the price. These prices come as we approach the holidays. AAA expects a 13% increase in travel for Thanksgiving from last year. And the gas prices may not affect people's decision to travel. It's going to be messy. 53 million Americans traveling. That's the estimate for AAA. Most of them by, by car. Uh, even with high gas prices, the pain of the pump is not necessarily being translated into people not going. It is going to happen. People are going to travel. Jocelyn, how long could these surging gas prices stick around? We need some relief. Now, well, a new forecast from the federal government predicts that crude prices will hold steady and then drop back down next year. So it looks like we're going to have to be dealing with these high price prices, at least through the holidays.